Right. I have um, uh, forked um, the repository of uh, this um, uh, code example uh, from uh, Noah Gift. Uh, so you can actually see the link um, in that uh, repository. Um, I'll give that also to you um, in, in the comment of this video. Um, so what I want to try out here is to look at the make file um, and uh, uh, with that uh, use the, the different scripts uh, to facilitate uh, testing of the code, uh, do some formatting and linting um, and then basically just make that part of the automated uh, process. Uh, next uh, I will look at uh, the, the GitHub Actions. Uh, so we will um, look at how to um, implement the GitHub Actions so that once we commit the code into GitHub that um, we will automate the testing of the code. So you can see in this case that the code is failing and the reason is that there's actually an error here um, in this file. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, look at look at this. So I have already um, cloned the repository into this uh, folder. Um, and uh, what we have to do is to uh, create a virtual environment. So I'll go ahead and do that. I create that in my home uh, folder as a hidden um, repository or hidden folder. Uh, okay, so let's activate that. Activate, that's it. Um, now when it's activated, uh, have a Python version 3.8 um, available um, and uh, in the make file um, we actually have an install statement and that will actually install an update of the pip upgrade of the pip and then install all the requirements and in the requirements uh, text uh, we will just have three um, packages that we are using. One is uh, the PyLint, then test, and then uh, black for formatting. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, install the requirements so we can start testing the code. So with that we run link install. Okay, so um, I was playing around with the code before, um, uh, but uh, I've introduced the error again, uh, as it is from um, Noah Gift's uh, repository. Um, and uh, uh, what I will do now is to um, run a lint on it to see if there's anything uh, that's out of the ordinary. So let's try to. something like this as well so make lint so we remember from the make file that uh, lint is the command so make lint it will run that make file and then run this command and basically it will uh, run the lint on hello.py okay there seems to be two problems. We can go in and, and check for these two problems. And one of them um, is here. Oops. 
and the other one is up here with this with this code. Right? So with make lint we have actually cleaned up the code. Um, and then we can also run some tests. Now, in when you run tests, uh, you write uh, test scripts uh, for the functions that you want to test. And uh, we have three functions here. Um, and I have uh, added a bit of uh, test uh, to the example, uh, just to test the, the different uh, functions. Okay. Um, so with that, um, we can basically just say make test and we can see that everything passed. But what if we change the value so here we have um, some feedback from the test we can see that two of them failed the add and to you right so the add and to you and we look at the code here it adds one to that variable and to you it prints high and then the string right um, so this is supposed to be student two high student two right Right, so that means that we need to have a two here. Um, and uh, since it adds one to the string, um, we need to, to have the right value to test up against. Right. Okay, so that's so much for running tests. So that these are uh, tools that helps you um, you know uh, verifying your code um, and it's a good idea to write a small test to the for the functions that you want to build so that uh, you can make sure that they can be verified um, before you push them uh, into merging with your other team members and so on good so let's go on uh, with the next uh, step um, to uh, push the code into github and add on the github action to automate these uh, test steps right so um what we have done um, was that we created the GitHub action and uh, the moment we committed it, it will actually run. Um, and uh, uh, we can actually go ahead and look at uh, one of them. And we can see that it built in 10 seconds. Um, and we can see the, the jobs um, that it ran. Uh, so basically setting up the environment, uh, de deploying uh, Python, um, installing the dependencies from the make file, right? Um, running the, the lint and the test and, uh, and so on, right? So you can see that it's the same output as we had before from the command line. Now, um, another thing that is uh, kind of interesting is how do we get this batch on the readme file um, uh, in our repository. So the way you do that is to go to your actions and uh, we just uh, select uh, one of them and uh, create, uh, click on the three buttons over here, say create batch. And then you have, uh, you will get some code that you can um, um, copy and paste uh, out copy this code we go into the readme file and you can see that um, what was given originally is actually pointing um, to a different 
repository, right? So we have to keep that within our repository. So we remove this and then we paste uh, this um, link in, uh, which is pointing to the re repository which I've created. Okay. And uh, now we can go back and uh, commit this um, again, and then uh, we will get an update directly in the readme file. So I comment that I updated readme file with uh, action batch. Push that up. Oh. So let's try this. There we go. So sometimes uh, it uh, gets a bit confusing, but um, at least we get the things done. So uh, basically uh, I modified something up um, on GitHub directly and I had to do a pull rebase uh, to merge the, the files. Um, okay, anyway, um, we got that working and uh, you can see that uh, this actually just ran um, and uh, it took 13 seconds okay so if we go back to the readme file let's see if that's updated yeah we have uh, the batch updated based on the result from the um, from the uh, built um, workflow okay so that's it